we're going to look at the minimum power required for a piston engine aircraft. We're going to start by determining what the thrust required for the aircraft is. Well, we know thrust is equal to drag, and drag is CDO plus KCL squared. So I can write in that the thrust is equal to the drag, which is half rho V squared S CD0 plus K 2W squared over rho V squared S. That's the standard equation that we've used a couple of times. The power then is just the thrust multiplied by the velocity. So V squared becomes V cubed, and this V squared becomes V when multiplied both sides by V. Okay, I want to get the velocity of which power is a minimum. So I'm going to differentiate this equation with respect to V and set it equal to zero at the minimum point. So dP dV, so when I differentiate this part, I get 3 over 2 rho s cd0 v squared. And when I difference this part, I get minus, because that's v to the power of minus 1, minus 2 w squared rho v squared s. So I set that equal to 0. <coughs> and if they're equal to 0, then this part must be equal to that part. And then we just rearrange the equation uh, to put v on one side. And we can get the fourth root of that which tells me the velocity at which minimum power occurs is equal to uh, this expression here. Okay, I'm going to take that velocity and I'm going to place it back in here for V to determine what the minimum uh, power is. So the minimum power is uh, V is now going to be placed by velocity for minimum power and there is the velocity for minimum power. Okay, so it was power of 3. <coughs> so if I go back, so this guy here is really 2 rho, 2 over rho, w over s, square root of k, 3 cd0, 3 CD all to the power of a half. So that becomes, it's power to the power of a half by 3, it's 3 halves. And this is just the minimum power here. All right, I want to get rid of uh, this value here um, to make it simpler to solve. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equations by the value in brackets here. Okay, so that's come up and it's multiplied by P. Multiplying this value by this value. So power of 3 over 2 by power of half becomes squared. And everything else just remains this, the same. Okay, so when I multiply this piece out here, I will get this becomes <coughs> uh, two k squared. <coughs> sorry. Okay, so two squared will be four. Four to the power of half is two. Uh, w squared will be w squared. Rho squared will be rho squared. Although we have a row up here, so these will cancel to give me row s squared. But I have an s here and an s there, so that just become row s. Inside the brackets, I have, uh, if we square root this, we get k. So that becomes our k here. And we get 3 cd0. Well, I have cd0 here, and I have cd0 there, so they'll cancel out. So I'm just left with uh, 3. So this part here reduces down to this equation, and this remains the same. Okay, so we've got a fraction here with the uh, common roots. Uh, so this guy will go into here three times. So three twos is six. So we'll have six kW squared all over three rho s plus t two kW squared. So that will give me my eight kW squared over three rho s. Okay, and I haven't touched this side of the equation. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to square both sides. So when I square this guy, I get rid of the half, and p min becomes p min squared. And when I square this guy, 88 eight to 64, the k squared is k. k becomes k squared. w squared becomes w to the power 4. 3 becomes 9, and rho s becomes rho s squared. start to cancel out. So the 2 goes into the 64, the W cancels out, the W there, the S cancels out, and the row cancel out. So I'm left with 32 K squared W3 9 row S. 
uh, I want to multiply by root 3cd0 3 CD over k to get rid of this expression. So that's what my equation becomes. And then we can start simplifying this. So we have p main squared, so we just get the square root of all of that. So there's my equation. I want to get the square root of it. Well, the 32 is just 16 multiplied by 2 k squared w cubed 9 rho s and all of this remains the same so if i get the square root of 16 it's 4 the square root of 9 is 3 so i can take them out and get 4 over 3 and i have 2 k squared w cubed over rho s time 3 cd0 over k well this is k squared so if i take this guy out and actually let's take k here and put it in inside so that will be the square root of k to the power of 4 so we can visualize k to the power of 4 here divided by k will give me k cubed so that's my expression so the minimum power required for a piston engine is that formula there